Sneakerheads, what's poppin'? It's me, Shala Shasta. Back with another sneaker video. Uh, today I got my uh, collection of Revis joints and the uh, the Knicks joints that just come out. I don't even like calling them Knicks. Fuck the Knicks. What Big L say, I'm from New York. I never was a fan of the Knicks. And I live in Queens. Still don't support them motherfuckers. Mets colorway of the Darrell Revis. <coughs> The Darrell Nike Zoom Rebus joints right here. Um, first off, check out all this glorious luster. Uh, I'm a big, big Rel Reef fan. Uh, I went to high school with him at Aliquippa in, in Pennsylvania. I bounced around a lot of high schools, but my uh, my first high school was Aliquippa. Um, so, you know, fast shouts to Rel Reef doing his thing at the Jets. Like to see you in a good place, dude. You know what I mean? So, wherever they let you go. <clears throat> Hope, uh, hope God go with you, man. So you keep picking them niggas off and doing what you do out there on Revis Island. So anyway, let's get into the sneakers, man. Uh, these are the ones we're talking about in question right here. The New York Mets Nike Zoom Revis colorway. My man Jay Brown, fast shouts to him, wanted to see the collection, so I brought, I brought him out for him. I just got these today, brand new, just hit the stores. The video's coming out a little late, forgive me for that, but bam, here we go. Um, the the thing I definitely want to talk about with these joints are the, uh, as far as athletic shoes, these are amazing. Some of the best built sneakers I've put on my feet in my entire history of collecting sneakers. Um, we'll get around it. I'll start to explain things here momentarily. I want you guys to get a good look <clears throat> real quick of the sneaker. Kind of looks like Nickelodeon a little bit. Bam, you know, the, uh, it is brilliant orange, white, game royal, and yes, that's it, right there. Nike Zoom Revis. Now, let me, let me build about the sneakers real quick. Um, if you are planning on training in these joints, absolutely do it. Get a pair that you like, roll with it. They lock down great around the ankles, around the heel, the, uh, the um, strap right here is incredible. Laces are great. The fly wire definitely helps with responsiveness. Speed pods on the bottom do it. Uh, it's a very good cross training shoe. It's excellent. It feels wonderful. The, it's like a lunar lawn sole down here. I don't think it's actually lunar lawn, but uh, the sole is incredible. It's so cushy. It's so push in on that joint. It, it's so responsive. It's great. It's like the Kobe joints, uh, like the attack responsive joints that were the inserts that were in the Kobe 7s. Uh, they feel great. Let me get into the look of the shoe. <clears throat> uh, some people was feeling it. Some people weren't. I personally think this is one of the better and more creative looking silhouettes that Nike's come out with. It's not a retro sneaker. Um, as far as it's taking the step forward, what would they have with technology available to them now and all that other stuff? Uh, the shoe is fantastically built. It looks really good. Um, so... Pop the inside off. Um, the only way to handle pressure is to apply it. I don't know what that is right there. These are seriously just taking out the box today. Uh, I have no idea what that is. That little writing. But yeah, they got the little uh, <clears throat> quotes on the inside of some of them. These are uh, a must-have for me. I'm a big fan of the Mets. Like I said, I used to live in Queens, Jamaica, stand up. Uh, so I got to definitely rep for the Mets. The flywire on here represents the bridges here in Pittsburgh. There's like 411 bridges in the city, and uh, and Rel uh, said when he was <clears throat> when he was developing the shoe that he wanted the uh, the flywire to represent the bridges that he was crossing as from going to you know from the Aliquippa Clips in high school to the Pitt Panthers to uh, the New York Jets. Um, so that's kind of how the uh, how the bridges came across on here. Plus with the with the strap going across the um, going across the shield of the shoe. Uh, I mean it's a good look tongue. It's very hot, has a cutout triangle in there, easy to pull up, it says Zoom Revis on the inside, Revis Island, let's see, bam, 24, Revis Island, right in there. Very, as, as far as cross trainers go, the light sneakers, uh, a lot of the time Nike's cross trainers will have an air bubble in them, that kind of adds to the weight. These definitely don't have a lot of weight to them, they do feel good, they lock down, they do have some weight to them. Um, but they give you that pivot. Uh, they give you that snap on uh, whether it's on like hardwood, whether you're on concrete, whether you're on turf. Uh, the speed pods actually help around here. As you can see, it says zoom right here. Bam. Give 
you a look from this end up top so you can get the nice aerial view of the shoe. It says fly wire across. This is almost like a patent leather on the, uh, on the mesh joints. It feels different on every one of the sneakers. Let me put these to the side real quick. Uh, snatch up one of each. Take the left from each one. Here are the Volt ones. Uh, a lot of people had trouble getting the Volts. Um, I got them a while ago and just never wore them. Um, th this, I think this was the first or second colorway they've come out with. Uh, the, Volts, the Volt one very hot. The all blackouts. Um, I got these from Oneness probably like two months before they actually dropped in stores. Um, these, are, these are my favorite ones hands down just because the blackout is so clean. Uh, I love how this looks. Like, you know... That, that's just ridiculous. I like blacked out sneakers personally. I think that shit is hot. Uh, the cool gray. This is the only cool gray sneaker I own. I do not like cool gray anything. But these really jumped out at me. And again, I haven't even worn these. These are 100% dead stock. Um, this one, instead of see, oh, uh, here, these two, the blackout and the cool gray, they have more of a. It's almost like a felt. Not felt so far, but it's, a, it's like a brushed feel to it. Like a brushed cotton almost or a brushed leather. It has a feel to it um, here against the patent leather and everything. I mean, it looks good. It feels fine. Uh, and these ones, the Aliquippa Quick Joints right here. Uh, I think these are total crimson, bright crimson. I'm sorry, black, red, and white or whatever. Uh, these are the ones I've worn, obviously. Um, this is leather back here. This is grain leather with the white with the white swoosh. Fly wire has the black and red intertwined into it. So you can see. Let me move my blackberry out the way. So you can see all of these put together. I wanted to give you guys a good look at the sneaker. Again, um, this is probably one of the hottest sneakers Nike's come out with, in my opinion, in a long time. I love cross trainers. The majority of my sneakers are cross trainers. You know, the Griffies, the Bo Jacksons, uh, these Real Reavers joints. I do have a lot of basketball sneakers as well. Um, but as far as, like, shoes that you would get to, like, work out and do some, like, plyometric routine or uh, whether you're just, like, um, you know, running bleachers, running track anything you know these are great sneakers to have man these are these are damn fine sneakers um the designers at nike they really did they joint um the mesh the mesh on the toe box definitely gives you some breathability so you know it doesn't feel like your feet are in a sauna the whole time um you know the laces are dope they don't come untied easily that's the thing i know with a like a lot of the lebrons and other sneakers they come untied very easily um but these ones don't man they lock down they give you good support um the only ones I'm missing, I think, are, I'm missing the green, the green and white joints. I didn't like those. The uh, the big apples, I, I like those online, and when I seen them in person, I didn't really care for them. And the reflective white, those were just, I don't know, I didn't really feel with them. Uh, I've seen a lot of player editions and customs of these joints. I've seen somebody do the Yeezys with these, uh, Yeezy colorway, which was hot. Wouldn't mind getting that done. I'd buy another pair if I can get those done as a Yeezy. Um, the Pro Bowl joints were stupid. They were pretty much the cool gray with a... Uh, with like a cerulean blue, um, with a cerulean blue sole, and then they had like the Pro Bowl joint on the inside. They had Hawaii here instead of the Zoom. Uh, those joints, were, those were stupid hot. Um, but yeah, I mean, here you go. You know, um, like I said, a lot of people didn't like the Revis joints. I like them not only just because I support the brother, just because you know they were hot sneakers to me. I definitely had to get this when these come out in the Brooklyn Nets colorway. That'll be hot. It's gonna be a blacked out version with white accents. Uh, that'll be the Brooklyn Nets. It's supposed to come out this summer. These are supposed to come out on the 27th. I think it was the 27th, but the Nike, I think, pushed them up a week or so because I got them. Uh, I got them on a release date. So, you know, here it goes. You know, the whole Zoom Revis collection right here. I'll give you one more look at everything. In case anybody wonders why uh, I do this in a dining room on my table is because the sneaker room, my sneaker emporium, is a tumultuous disaster of awesomeness. If you walk in there, you would be very afraid. And uh, once that gets cleaned up, inshallah, you know what I'm saying, it'll be, uh, the sneaker videos will be happening there. But until then, this is the most open spot with the best lighting in the house I could possibly get you guys. So there you go. Uh, like, comment, subscribe on the videos. As always, man, you know what I mean? Hit me up on Twitter at ISWillerJacks. I appreciate all of the new followers I've been getting and subscribers I've been getting on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys are checking out the self-defense videos and the, uh, and the music as well because, you know, it's definitely some gems. 
popping off in there. It's me, Shala Shaska, 14 karat gold slum computer wizard, aka Hama Kavula, aka Gorilla Chutney, the full time supervillain, part time hater, TorontoBerg.com. Holla at me. Salam alaikum.